Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Super Channel. Uh, today in this video, we are going to look at how to create a NGINX container. What is NGINX? NGINX is nothing, it is just like a web server where you can deploy your application. So let's have a look how to create an NGINX container within a minute using that Docker. So before guys I start, I will ask everyone to subscribe my channel to get regular updates of my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's get started. One more useful information. I have authored one a book on Oracle Visual Builder. If you guys are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, this is the best book. You can buy it and you can start learning Oracle Visual Builder. So this book is in very detail. You can find, you will find very, uh, you know, uh, good examples in this and the examples are based on the real time our projects. So if you are willing to buy, you can go to this link https colon slash less pack dot type slash 3mwsnr71, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to this uh, terminal wherein we will show you how to create a Docker uh, so NGINX container. So I have a Linux wherein I have installed a Docker. If you don't have Docker, you have to install a Docker first, then only you will be able to create the different containers. Okay, so to create a container, you need to write this command Docker container. Okay, then run. You can combine both the commands like create and start as a run command. The run will create the container as well as it will start the container hyphen D means I am going to run the container in the detached mode and then hyphen hyphen name i am going to give the name of the container you can this is an optional if you will not give hyphen hyphen name the container name then a random alphanumeric string will be assigned to the container so but i wanted to identify a container with a name so i have given the name with the option hyphen hyphen name nginx01 and the name of image is nginx so this is the official image which I'm going to put here. Okay, once I will enter, so what it will happen, it will try, Docker will try to find out the NGINX image locally on the Docker host machine. If not found, it will go to the Docker hub. It will go to the Docker hub uh, by default and it will download, will keep that image locally and will create a container from that NGINX image. So let's see, let it be, here you see uh, the every image is a uh, every image is a combination of a different layer and here you can see one two three four five six seven so there are different layers which will be downloaded when you will try to download our image okay and then a container will be created and here you see when a container is created it will give a unique id of a container now my container has been created now let's list the container and we'll see the container and here you see nginx the container id when you hit this ls command it will give you the container id in short but this is a complete id the image from where the container is created what is the initial command which ran automatically when it was created the state up the status and then port by default the port will be 80 because in the in, in the Docker file of NGINX image, the port 80 is exposed by default and the name NGINX01, which we have given here. So now my NGINX is working. Now, in, in one of my video, I have mentioned every container has its own host, IP, memory, CPU, and etc. But the container shares the kernel, uh, kernel of the Docker host machine. So now since every container has its own IP and then hold. Similarly, the NGINX01 will have its will have its own host name and then IP. So let's try to find out the IP which is assigned to this container. So let's see Docker container is a command called inspect. So inspect is the command which will give you the detailed information of a container. Either you can use the container ID to inspect or you can use the name. So let me just use the name nginx01. And here it will give you the detailed information in the JSON. And here you can see the ID, 
when that docker was created here you see 29th of august what was the path the argument we have used nginx image created and then state the status is running running and then image resolve on uh, resolve configuration part and other different information out of it it will have uh, one more like uh, the ip address uh, here you go ip address so ip address is the ip address which is assigned to the container so you can use this ip to hit my container since this ip can be resolved by the docker host only because it is internal to docker host if you want to hit this ip from browser it will not work because this ip is the private ip and will be recognized by your docker host machine which means in this case the linux machine on which i am logged in right so if you only wanted to get this ip address what you can do you can simply run this command and let's say you can use grab command grab is a linux based command and let's say ip address so so grab will search the word uh, from the output of the command which we are running okay so i wanted to find the word ip address so ip address will be find out and here it will give you only the this one now in order to access so let's use this ip right and the port was 80 now here you can see html had welcome to nginx so it has given us the default html file so since this is a curl command it will give you the html but if you will try to run this command from browser but unfortunately i will not be able to but i will show you then it will give you only the data like if you see this page the nginx web service is successfully installed like you see the apache server so this is the one way to create the apache uh, to create so now let's suppose you wanted to access this server from the outside so what you can do it let's use another command let's say p so p is the p represent the port means if you publish means if you want to publish the port you can do that let's say 80 81 so what i'm going to do i am going to publish my docker's local port 80 81 to port 80 means i am binding 80 81 port with 80 port of nginx so what will happen so this 80 81 port will be of my local docker host machine and this 80 will be the nginx port so let me just rename this so i'm going to create another container wherein i will map the port 8081 to 80 so let's run this uh pull x is net for 8081 because it does not exist or let me just try another one Maybe docker container ls iphone a. Okay, no problem. Let me just try to use different uh, different word. Maybe 8081 is already being used. Let me see 84. Oh, my bad, actually. So here you can give. So there is no sequence of the options you can give in any sequence, but the nginx02 is representing the name so my bad iphone p 80 81 okay now just hit this command and you'll see right and here you see the another container with name nginx0 has has been created now let me just hit this command now let me say clear container ls so now here you see the nginx02 is created the container and here you see the difference between both the ports 80 TCP and here you see 00080081 0, 0, 0, 
8080 means any request is coming to port 8081 will be redirected to the port 80 of the container so when you will hit this when you will hit the command with port 8081 from the browser then it will be redirected to my it will be redirected to my container 80 so let me just show you so my ip let me see okay. let me just use uh, the ip of my docker host machine so this is the ip of my docker host machine and let me just simply put the at Uh, port which we have exposed and then enter and here you see now the the request has been redirected to port eighty and here you see the nginx server is up and running. Okay, so now <clears throat> there's a, another thing I would like to show you here. Okay, now here we have used a small p right now. and there we have given the port 8081 so if you want to assign a random port you can do that as well so for that what you can do you simply need to remove this and use capital p and let's say p. right now what it will do uh, capital p it will assign a random port of docker host machine to nginx and now let me just run command open a and this time here you see a port 32769 has been assigned to my a uh, nginx 03 now if i go to the serve uh, to the browser again 32769 and let me show you here Okay, three two seven six nine, and then here you see the nginx server is up and running. Okay, another another thing I wanted to show you: if you go to the Docker Hub and search the image nginx, and uh, here if you open the latest tag, you will see the Docker file here, and you will see the port is eighty exposed by default. Here you see the port eighty. So. This is how you create the nginx container. So, guys, that's all about this uh, video. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and then you can also see my blog https colon slash dash www dot sapa dot com. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye bye.